The following is a presentation of ESPN Minus, your home for anything that even remotely resembles a sport. Tonight, it's the Tiger Dodgeball Tournament live from Jadwin Gymnasium in Princeton, New Jersey. Hello and welcome to Tiger Dodgeball on ESPN Minus. Available literally nowhere. Tiger Dodgeball, of course, one of the most storied traditions in the history of Princeton, came to campus in the 1750s and was originally played with rocks to the deck. Now let's take a look at how we got to this point. Tonight's athletes playing in their full uniforms as is dictated by international dodgeball law. And it looks like we're underway, ready for tonight's action. Mixed quadruples tonight here at Jadwin Gym out of an absolutely sold out crowd. Competitors ready. Competitors ready. Dodgeball. In the prelims, let's take a look at what happened. Keely Walsh, unbelievable catch. She holds on as Dan DeGroote. That's just how he gets around campus. You, you, out. Elias Burbari, you don't need to call plays in dodgeball. You, out. Ryan Kuffner using Keiko to clerk as a human shield. I don't think she planned on going out that way. Foul. Excellent teamwork here as Elias Burbari gets back into the action, feeding Michael Swart, the assassin. But wait, what a catch. Georgia Tia. Not a face mask, no flag on the play. Moyen Opa Yemi drop kicks it inside. The rower shows he can face anyway and be effective. Good catch. You out, you in. Bridgie Leach running short distance to pick up a ball. Leapfrog by Andrew Deal. What a play, the high jumper. You over the line, out. Izzy Hirschberg bringing her own equipment from home delivers a knockout blow. And now we're going to throw it down to Lisa Roman, who's with some of the athletes as they pick teams for the final. Ryan, must have been tough to be the last pick. How did that feel? Yeah, you know, I think uh, Gabrielle might have concerns that I threw too many strikes and don't hit enough batters, but I think I'll be all right out there. Gabrielle, why'd you pick him last? Ryan, well, I've been to a couple of baseball games, and I don't think he throws the ball very well. And that brings us to the final. They've already picked teams, and here they are. Underway, ready for tonight's action. Competitors ready. Dodgeball. <laughs> Nicole Calhorn delivers the tomahawk. Ellie Sawyer goes for the block, but she dropped the ball. Not too easy when you're on land. Get in your boat and row, row, row out of here. Kendall Ratter goes up high for the jump serve spike. Nicole Calhorn whiffs on the changeup. Tiana Lau drives it right into Allie Whiting. And Allie Whiting's got to be seeing stars to go with those stripes. Allie Whiting, definitely not a goalie, is she? Ryan Smith delivers a fastball, but wait, Kendall Ratter. Can you dig it? That's one he'd like to forget. Chase Piperato, great dodge, and then delivers. Catherine Hallett has brought her stick onto the field of play, but that's illegal. Gabrielle Rush with a miss. Chase Piperato with the delivery, and Ryan Smith dropped it. Gabrielle Rush showcasing for the fans here. And we're down to our final. Two competitors. Gabrielle Rush with the delivery. Ooh, Chase Piperato in the face. And she knocked him out. It's all over. Gabrielle Rush is your Tiger Dodgeball Tournament champion. Literally tens of fans are going nuts inside Jadwin. The black team wins the Tiger Dodgeball Tournament. And now we're gonna throw it down to Lisa Roman. Ouch, how's your face, Chase? 
it really can't get much worse, but it's not about the end of the road. It's about the journey to get there. I just wish my team was here for me today. What a night for fake sports and fake sporting events everywhere. For ESPN Minus and all other fictional news networks, I'm Noah Savage. Enjoy your banquet.